Right, here we are again. Welcome to my channel, Rain Country Sticks. We've uh, glued the peg in this uh, dog carving. All we're going to do now is work on this area here. And uh, once we've got that where we want it to be, you know, matching the uh, the shank, we might work up into uh, the head there. Take some bulk off just below the ears out here, and. Um, then we, I think we're going to put some sanding sealer on and um, give it a bit of a um, rub down. So that's the next thing. What we're going to do is uh, just put a pencil mark on here. We've got uh, our shank hopefully in the right position. say we had a red red mark so we had a red mark there to line up with the line on the uh, peg and as I say every time the, um, the, the shank and the head are parted and brought back together they're always going to come back in the same uh, position um, so what that means is if we take material off in one place and then put this on uh, we're not going to find that uh, the joins don't match up right so that's the next thing I think what I'm going to do is just try this on the um, the big uh, sanding disc at the back here and uh, try and take off quite a bit quite quickly so on with the mask and um, I don't think you need to see that, it's a noisy job, but we'll come back and show you the results. Okay, we've taken the, uh, the squareness off. Uh, for the back here, I'll just turn you around. We've just used the, uh, the sander. Obviously, uh, when it comes to doing the inside line along here that's not quite as convenient you don't want to be catching any of your carving so put that in the uh, price and I use the old trusty angle grinder uh, because this is lime very soft it comes off very quickly so you got to be a bit careful but it takes a lot off very quick and uh, as I say, everything's about saving time, doing the job the easy way. Uh, there we go. So we're going to finish off by hand now and just uh, keep going round with the file. Obviously that joint there isn't accurate at the moment, but we've, seen, we've shown you how to get a nice clean joint, but that's going to be covered up because I'm going to put a collar on there and the um, customer needs a name on. So. Uh, that's the next thing now. We're going to do some filing, and uh, that seems okay. So, plenty of files. See what works. Lime's only soft. Most files should work. Uh, try and find something nice and coarse. Uh, these are very good. Uh, almost like a a butcher's sharpening iron but it isn't so there you go so once we've got that whittled down we'll be back again okay we've given this a, a good rub down uh, we've used uh, wet and dry used files some wrap searcher files I say and uh, some abrasive paper and uh, I think the next job now is um, we're going to put some sanding sealer on and let that dry off and uh, we'll give it a rub we've uh, maybe be a bit more off there we've put a cut through there to uh, close up the gap and uh, and then we'll give it a rub down, there's a bit more rub in there to be done. 
and I think then we might be able to put some colour on. Now, lime is very soft so it does show marks and if you overdo a bit of filing or something you're going to make yourself a bit of work and that you've got to uh, rub it out. Yeah, I can see marks there. You'll see quite a few marks once you put your uh, sanding sealer on. I can see these marks in here now. So there's still a lot of rubbing down to be done to get uh, it nice and smooth. Okay, so next job, sanding sealer. I don't think you need to see that. Um, I'll come back to you once that's on and uh, we can rub it down. Okay, we've uh, put some sanding sealer on. Let it dry a bit, give it a bit of a rub down. Uh, 240 grit here and a bit of wire wool. So uh, there we go. It may be that the next job is uh, a bit of uh, black dye. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, this is the exciting bit. I haven't put the eyes in yet, but we will do later on. Uh, happy enough with that. So, we're going to put a bit of stain on and we'll be back. <laughs> 